In a 2014 study, the League of American Orchestras found that less than 15% of orchestral musicians in the U.S. were people of color. The National Philharmonic Orchestra and Chorale of Montgomery County strives to make musical programs more accessible and diverse, with a minimum benchmark of 40% composers of color and 40% guest artists of color each season. Welcome to Impact Moment, brought to you by DCTV. I'm Rebecca Burnett, and here to explain how NatPhil meets those goals is President and CEO Jim Kelly. Thank you for taking the time today. Thank you so much for having me, Rebecca. So one of the ways that NatPhil stands out among the rest is the mission to uh, be multicultural and anti-racist. What does it mean to be anti-racist and how are you kind of pushing to make sure that um, you're as diverse as possible? Our industry it has been very behind the times over the, over the centuries. And so we have not been as inclusive as we should have been in incorporating other cultures, classical music. So for America, the Negro spiritual is actually America's classical music. And in supposed classical music, it's a general European tradition. So over the last couple of years, we've really focused on really trying to do the work on representing our community of Montgomery County and the DMV area on our stages. So with the chorale and with the orchestra, we are um, over time um, looking to have access and equitable opportunities for musicians to join our orchestra. As far as guest artists and the music that we represent, there is so much good music out there that um, has not traditionally been um, expressed through concerts in, in the United States. And so we really took advantage of the last year to highlight many composers and artists of color so that we could have um, more inclusivity and also learn from each other's backgrounds. I think it's really important um, for the next generation of concert goers and next generation of, of uh, musicians that we are inclusive and that we understand uh, the impact we can have on our communities by representing our community on the stage. And unfortunately, we can't be kids forever, so they will have to leave Natville. Um, and I wanted to talk about your partnership with the National Alliance for Audition Support, about mentoring yep. um, Black and Latino musicians and helping them find their future orchestras. Can you talk about that partnership and where it came from? It is a platform for orchestras to understand how to make access to auditions and live auditions more fair and equitable and involving um, and accessing uh, musicians of color for those auditions. In addition to that, when you sign on to um, the Alliance, you are also have access to hearing these auditions and you can have your principal players of your orchestra and your music director join to listen to these auditions so that candidates uh, can be vetted and through uh, a talent process um, and first and foremost, we're looking for really excellent musicians and also uh, providing a platform for our BIPOC or Alana uh, musicians to be represented and selected through that process. So I find it to be very important. It's also very enlightening to understand better how the structures of organ organizations like orchestras um, have audition processes and to understand that maybe they're not the most equitable processes. So working with our union um, and the National Alliance for Audition Support is very important to um, changing uh, the structure in which we hire and have musicians on our stage. Well, it's wonderful work. And if anyone wants to sort of uh, keep in touch and uh, follow your guys' journey, how can they find you? Uh, what's your website and what's your social media? Sure. So our website is nationalphilharmonic.org. And there's lots of different information, especially on our community engagement pages and education pages. Uh, in addition, you can see us on Instagram and also Facebook. Uh, at Nat Philharmonic is our Instagram handle. And Facebook, you can find Nat Phil, Nat Philharmonic um, there as well. Um, we also have a program that we've been uh, showcasing throughout the last year called Harmonic Justice. 
And that is a way for us to open dialogues with our community of musicians and also patrons to engage and talk about equity and diversity and inclusion and access in classical music. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for all the great work that you guys are doing. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much for the opportunity. And I really believe in the work that National Philharmonic is doing and will be doing. And so I thank you for this opportunity. All right, well, thank you. And thank you to our viewers at home for tuning in to this episode of Impact Moment. It's part of DCTV's nonprofit capacity building grants program, bringing meaningful media to the DMV's nonprofits that are making a difference. Find out more at dctv.org slash grants and stay up to date with our latest productions on our live stream at dctv.org slash live. Thank you.